Have you ever wondered what would happen if your best friend were to leave you forever one day because of what you did? What if one day you woke up not knowing that that would be your last day? What if you could just rewind back and start all over again? What if? Yes! Guys, I'm not sure we're going to have a party this weekend. I you guys up for it? Definitely! Yes. I have to ask my parents first. What can I do? I'm not sure. Do you remember the last time you went with your mom's party? I got so drunk that I almost made up around here. Come on, God! I've seen you here! Go on, make it! Remember everyone! Yeah! Okay, guys, I'll ask my parents. Damn you, yes! Yeah! Another of Hapas's friends. Xiongwei meets up with them after class. They head to the canteen for lunch. On the way, they resume their conversation. So are you guys coming to my party this Saturday? Yeah, but Kayla is still indecisive. He wants to check with his parents. Apparently, they do not like the fact that he's going to party. It's not that they are just concerned of my safety. We know, but we are your best friends. Why don't they trust us? Or yeah. you trust us? Yeah, it seems like you don't trust us. I do. Cause I do. Yeah, I don't see the problem. Kayla, you have to come. It's my 17th birthday. You can't miss it. Yeah, this party is invite only, and you've been invited. There's nothing more. Never say never. Don't quote Justin Bieber. Come on, let's go for lunch. I am starving. Me too. And so they dismissed the conversation yet again. After lunch, Sean Wee went back to his class, and the boys headed to the lab for NCC. The day went by in a blur for Kayla as he kept thinking of a way to ask permission from his parents. Later that day, Kayla tried summoning up the courage to ask his parents about the party. He was scared and nervous. Dad, I was wondering... Yes, son! There's a party this Saturday at Shongwei's place. It's his 17th birthday. Would it be okay if... If you could go... Yeah... Of course you can go! It's a party for one of your best friends. I don't see why not. That's great! Thank you, Dad! There wouldn't be anything illegal at a party, right? Of course there wouldn't be, Mom. If there was, I wouldn't take any. You never know, son. Friends have a way of influencing you. I just hope that you know that you do not have to give in to peer pressure, alright? I know, Mom. Thank you for letting me go to this party. It means a lot to my friends. Although he could go, Kayla was still feeling uneasy. In a way, he had lied to his parents. His definition of party was nowhere near the same as his parents. He knew what kind of party he would be going to and he knew what kind of things could happen. Yeah! What's up, about this? I can go to the party, yo. That's great, bro. What do you tell them? I said I would be celebrating show with party at his house. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very convincing. I did convince them, but I did convince myself. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what do you mean? Never mind, it's late. I'll tell you tomorrow in school. Good night, love you, see you tomorrow. TTYS. After the call, Kayla brushed his teeth and went to bed. He kept thinking to himself. Yeah, I just wish I could tell them exactly what I was doing. Today was a Friday. Kayla had a BM presentation with his group, Korean and Ashley. He met up with them during break to discuss the presentation. So I have done all the slides and Ashley has done the poster. Kayla, can you do the presentation? Yeah, definitely. Is everything okay? You seem like you're a million miles away from here. Uh, yeah, everything is fine. I was just thinking. Care to share? We could help you figure things out. What is wrong with teenagers these days? I'm not sure I understand what you're trying to say. Can you be more specific? Why do we always lie to our parents? We do. Yes, I mean, for example, if we want to go to a party with alcohol and stuff, can we just tell our parents about it? Do you have? Do we have to lie to cover our tracks? We don't have to lie. 
to lie about it. You can choose to be as honest as you want to be with your parents. If you want to go to a party with drugs and alcohol, you can just go and you can tell them. No one's telling you to lie. I know no one is telling me, but it feels like I have to. No, you don't. If your parents know that you're telling them the truth about your whereabouts, they would trust you even more. If they don't like the fact that you and your friends like to party, then they have the right to tell you not to. After all, you are their son and they care for you a lot. I see where you guys are coming from. Thanks for the advice. Don't mention it. I just hope I won't end up making out with Ami again. <laughs> okay, I heard about that. So, shall we continue with our presentation? Yeah, definitely. We still have a lot to cover. And so, they resumed their discussion about their BRM presentation. Caleb finally felt at ease after receiving some advice from his classmates. Meanwhile, somewhere else in school. Is he going to the party? Yeah, I talked to him last night. Well, one of my friends is celebrating me tonight. So we want to have a party? Of course it will be. Yeah. So it's not a surprise since all the only parties are legendary. <laughs> After school, Kayla was putting his books back into his locker when Hafiz, Zaro, and Shoei came up to him. I heard that you'll be coming tomorrow, bro. I'm glad. Yeah, about that. Why? Don't tell me you're going back out now. You told Hafiz last night that you're going to the party. The parents said yes, so what's the problem? I just don't think I should lie to them anymore. You're not going to be exactly lying to them. You're going to show a party, but not in his house. What's the big of a deal? You are my best friend. I'm best. Maybe you're, you're at my locker. The next day, Hafiz and Zarok arrived at Kayla's house to pick him up for the party. Kayla's parents invited them in for a little chat. So, the children, who is going to be at this party? Hmm. Just a bunch of Shangwei's close friends and cousins. Will there be any supervision? Of course there will be, Auntie. Shangwei's older brother and older sister will be in the entire time. Well, what about his parents? They'll be going out for the anniversary dinner. Okay, you boys don't get into too much trouble. No trouble. You can go in. You don't want to get stuck in traffic. Okay, you boys have fun. Get out of here. But no drinking and smoking, alright? Alright. Bye, mom. Bye, dad. After a long journey, the boys finally arrived at the club. Shongwei was waiting for them at the main entrance. Thank you all for coming. We prepared for a night full of fun. Let's do this! Gonna be a night to remember! The whole party seemed like a blur to Kayla. He had little too much to drink and he ended up trying something new as well. He didn't know if he loved it or hated it, but he knew that it made him feel good and that was all that mattered. However, the happiness only lasted for a little while.
In life, we have to accept the tragedy that hits us unexpectedly. For Kayla, it was a very sad and painful one. He didn't know that that day would be his last. He never really said goodbye to his parents. He never told the girl of his dreams that he has loved her ever since preschool. There were so many things he had yet to do, but time ran out for him. I can't believe he's gone. It feels like it was just yesterday that we talked to him. I know. It feels as though we could have stopped him. But what else could we have done? We should be more persistent about it. We should have told him that he's putting his life in danger. But how would anyone know? He didn't plan for it. It just happened. I think his friends have learned a very big lesson. Like this happens to any of them in the future. Everyone in school was talking about Kayla's passing. Everyone knew Kayla. He was a good boy with good grades. It wasn't his fault that he gave in to peer pressure. If only he could rewind back in time and start over. Teenagers these days should learn that it's not all about impressing your friends and doing exactly what your friends want. It is entirely your choice. If you do not feel comfortable in any situation, Talk to someone about it. Do not just go along with your friends' ways and end up in a bad state. Do not give in to peer pressure. Yeah! No! Thank you all for coming. We prepared night for fun. 